somehow in the group that's on this plane, to me, we have a symbol of that vision uh, that Martin Luther King said he saw when he went up on the mountain and he saw the promised land. Here, uh, the, the, the whole community, uh, the leadership of all elements of our community in New York, uh, who were going together in a tremendous sense of sorrow and yet in a great, with a great feeling of community, of, of unity, of, of uh, uh, common purpose. Mr. Mayor. I'm troubled, very frankly, because I'm not sure that the Congress and the New York State Legislature and the other legislative bodies across the country have got the message or will get the message. That's why I'm troubled. I see uh, turmoil of uh, the dividing of Congress and the rest of the country don't get to work and do something. It's like the old uh, Negro spiritual. Nobody knows the trouble I see. The important thing, if Congress and the rest of the nation will move towards building this bridge, we cannot build a world, one world, and leave out another world. We must bring this world together. I feel that Martin Luther King's death, uh, tragic it is, as it is, is uh, has really brought uh, America's consciousness into focus. And I think that some good, I feel more optimistic about the future now than I felt for a long time. As a Christian, I see the resurrection, the resurrection of the ideals for which men like Martin Luther King died. We cannot go backward. We shall continue our way ahead and more convinced of the right cause that we follow, I think that we shall arrive at the day when Christians and men throughout the world may enjoy the same opportunity, the same rights, and the same freedoms.